strolling over again Need to take my baby for a ride Ooh, she's like a school stretch of highway Everyone and welcome to TW Teleproductions North Coast Game of the Week, and there is your gray February day in uh, Perkins Township. That's where that is, and that means we're going to take you inside the plank at Perkins High School for this week's game between the Sandusky Blue Streaks and the Perkins Pirates, and this is. Gosh, let's see, that's the 33rd meeting between these two teams on the basketball floor, uh, and it is a packed house. This is what's so cool. I mean, uh, it's sold out. The signs were posted on the door. The doors were locked, as Billy Hayen uh, and Lucas Pajali compare notes on uh, what can or might happen in this ball game during our pregame, which is brought to you by Bay Bell Restaurant and the Bayview Center Bait Shop, located in Bayview. The good old days of sold-out gyms. Gotta love it. I mean, you look around and really about the only openings you see are where there's some stairs and people aren't allowed to sit. But you can see just a little bit of bleacher here and there if you look hard enough. But it is fun to have everybody in the house just yelling and screaming and hollering for their favorite teams, either the Blue Streaks or the Pirates meeting in this one. And it's a series that... Sandusky has controlled so far, but one never knows in this thing. There have been some great games lately. 24 to 8 is the series. Earlier during the year, it was a 77 75 classic in the big house. Nice to see the football jersey on the quarterback again there with Logan Lesh in the front row of the Rumble section. You know, how neat it is when you see the head coach of the Pirates, Eric Hokendorfer. He was coming up in our radio perch to do an interview before the game. And big jackpot. Big jackpot. Dante Ship. I think, I think he's getting some commission on this thing or something along the lines. But everybody dressed in their favorite colors and uh, I was talking about Coach Kokendorfer actually going down to the rumble section to coach them and how loud they need to be during this evening and everybody's just jammed up to a different level this is your fan of the week and it's brought to you by Snow Trails Winter Resort in Mansfield say hello to Brinks our fan of the week for Snow Trails this week yeah, talk about a face that is happy to be there. He's thinking, go Pirates. I hope just because my name is Brinks doesn't mean I'm going to be a jinx. Snow Trails Winter Resort in Mansfield bringing you our Fan of the Week for another presentation of the Game of the Week. Damar Moore, the head coach of the Blue Streaks, getting set for the action from the visitor's bench. And... Boy, there's a crew for you. Uh, I'm being joined by Don Huntley on the left and Bobby James on the right. And it's amazing how many people have asked me why we trust a guy like Bobby James with an open live microphone in front of it. I don't know. He's done a great job so far. Go Pirates! Go Pirates! Go Pirates! There is the spirit that enthralls the rumble section. If those two are leading the cheers all night long, then the Pirates are going to be in great shape. Troy Baumgartner from the radio, along with Lucas Bajali, the head football coach at Sandusky High. Now we're basketball edition. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, the crew from the register, one that works and one that just kind of sits and whatever. I'll let you take a pick as to which one you think really is the one that works a little harder. 
Bay Bell Restaurant and the Bayview Center Bait Shop bringing you our pregame activities from the plank. Well, these two are pretty serious about what's happening here tonight. <laughs> and the TV crew as well. Lee and Wendell being joined by his air crew of John Slushman and Ken Walters. Everybody is here. Everybody wants to see another classic. And everybody is set for the Pirates and the Blue Streaks. Can't wait. It's always fun. This one, no exceptions. Stick around. Pirates and Blue Streaks. It's this week's presentation of the North Coast Game of the Week. Well, it's kind of a surprise when you look out into Perkins Township in February and see clouds in the sky. Hard Tongue Title bringing you our first quarter of action tonight, supporting uh, local youth athletics across the North Coast for generations. And here we go with Mikey Young and Azorian Bonner jumping up for their respective teams. Bonner will tip the ball into the backcourt for Sandusky, and this is Jason Enlin. We'll get things started for the streaks on the first possession of the ball game. And Henlon, the only one to touch the ball and getting the first two points of the night on the board. And doing exactly what you need to do after scoring. Look at the way Henlon just hustles back and gets right back to play defense. Yeah, two points is great. That's history. It's done. And there's the sprint back to find his man on defense. Joey Dietrich, the floor leader for the Pirates, wearing number five in the home Perkins uniforms. Well, the referee got Meg to start with. The ball zipping right through his legs and out of bounds. Here's Dietrich controlling once again. Blue Streaks playing that swarming man-to-man -man defense. Young and Bowles get the first shots up for Perkins, unable to get them finished, but Dietrich on the board for the Pirates. This is a challenge when you play against Sandusky because of that in-your-face man-to-man defense. And you see Bonner creating havoc, but without ever reaching for the basketball which is great discipline because that's where you see most of the fouls called from in an aggressive defense is somebody just reaching for the ball. There's Dietrich doing what he does so well, and that's just getting it to the rack. Drawing a couple of free throws out of the deal, and minute 28 into the contest. Dietrich trying for the early tie and getting it. Knotted up at two. This is a look at Dietrich, just explosive to the basket, drawing the contact and getting the two free throws. So the streaks up the floor trying to break a two-all tie. Now the history of these games seem to be that Sandusky gets off to a rousing beginning and then Perkins fights back and makes a great game out of it. Bonner bangs it off the back of the rim and there's those relentless hands of the blue streaks on defense Cesarion so Arrington playing defense on Dietrich out front Tim Bowles has really picked up his game lately as far as post play is concerned for the Pirates. This again, his first couple of shots in this ball game to keep this game tied to a piece. Henlon. Back outside for Amir Aaron. And then Henlon and the ball swatted out of bounds. It's going to be Perkins' possession on our Savista Bank scoreboard. An early 2-2 tie three minutes into the contest. Three. 
Kobe Brown on the dump off to Azorian Bonner, who attacks the basket and finishes for a 4-2 Blue Streak lead. Kobe Brown on the give to Bonner. Absorbing the contact and still finishing strong for the streaks. Bulls on the kick out for Weston Sturzinger. Strong off the backside and out of bounds, so Sandusky gets it back again. Rebound cleared off by Sturzinger. Pass intercepted by Kobe Brown. Tipped away by Dietrich and the behind the back pass from Bonner to Aaron. This is the stuff that you just don't see coming and all of a sudden it's like, did I just see what I think I saw? This is your play of the game for Savista Bank. They are focused on you and right now focus in on Azorian Bonner for the Blue Streaks. man who just shot the ball Sturzinger clearing it away and this is what we talk about when we say defense turning to offense Kobe Brown with the intercept Dietrich with a knock away and Bonner whoop right behind the back to Aaron who finishes for a 6-2 blue streak lead that's your play of the game and it's brought to you by Savista Bank always focused on you Halfway through the first quarter, Pirates, and we talked about this with Coach Kokendorfer before the game on the radio, was just, it's been kind of fun to watch this Perkins Pirates Express evolve in the first couple of years that Coach K's been at Perkins. And it went from a pressing, run and gun type of situation to just playing good, strong half court defense. Strong rebounding, as you saw right there from Sturzinger. And then letting that develop into the Pirate Express. Blue Streak's break. Finishes with Azarian Arrington. See Henlon fighting for and getting the offense... The defensive rebound and then starting the offense on that no-look feed to Arrington. And it's an 8-2 Blue Streak lead. Looks Kokendorfer wanting to slow the pace down. So a timeout for the Pirates as we thank the following local businesses for supporting us here at the Game of the Week. Matthews Ford. Cook Aluminum. Hermes Parker Concrete. Wake Up and Waffle, Noble Fun, Schmid Architects, Steinem and Hafner Insurance, Payne Nichols and Company, Sandusky Steel and Supply, Gnomes Podiatric Medicine. Brady Legando went off the bench for Perkins. Feeding Dietrich on the right sideline. So I'm talk about when it's we talk about how difficult it is to operate an offense against Sandusky. That relentless in your face defense that causes so much havoc. It's lead by Groot wearing number thirty four that's also went off the bench for Perkins. And there's Dietrich. The drive and the pull-up and a little fadeaway. And the ball game sits at 8-4. It's a neat move by Dietrich forcing the action down low and then that pull-up jumper creating offensive space for himself to knock it down and cut the blue streak lead in half to 8-4. To Downtown, Kobe Brown. Even the Blue Streaks a seven-point lead. Oh, 
Defense aboard again for Kobe Brown. A little hand-checking foul called against the Pirates will give the ball inbounds to the Blue Streaks under their own basket. Holding that seven-point lead that you see on your screen for Sabista Bank. Guarding the Blue Streaks a whole different story, a whole different challenge for your defense because all five of those junior starters for the Streaks can make plays from anywhere on the floor, as you see right there from Azorian Bonner. Let's pick your poison when you guard these blue streaks. This is bringing the heat for Gunlock Sheet Metal Works Incorporated. Heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and refrigeration since 1889. Going to put the heat on the defense right here. And if you have to make a decision, you're going to try and step in front, get the block, as Weston Sturzinger did right there. And that's one of those 50-50 calls, depending on what the official is in the mood for at the time. That is bringing the heat for Gunlock Sheet Metal Works Incorporated, located on Columbus Avenue, just south of Five Points in Sandusky. The Sturzinger gets the block, and Henlon to the line. The two opportunities. One out of two at the line for Henlon. Henlon on the year, 62% at the charity stripe. Perkins trying to keep from falling too much further behind here. But it's not something they're unfamiliar with. Quick outlet from Kobe Brown down the floor for that pull-up jumper from a Zarian Arrington. And a 16-4 Blue Streak lead, their biggest lead of the first quarter. And this is what is really kind of neat. I mean, immediately on the shot, you can see the Blue Streaks getting their offense started. Arrington, the pull-up jumper off the baseline. Nothing but net, and the Blue Streaks lead it by a dozen, 16-4. Brady Legando out front, directing the traffic on this possession for the Pirates as they try and get some points on the board. A nice find to Levi Groot, who gets a good roll, and the Pirates, two more on the board. It's a 10-point game after one with the Blue Streaks leading 16-6. Second quarter up next, brought to you by the Old Fish House with knickknacks, snacks, and BS facts. Where? Of course, located in Huron. And also brought to you by Restore Pro. Disaster cleanup and restoration. Count on the folks at Restore Pro. Second quarter ready to go. Up on your feet in the rumble section. Henlon for Bonner underneath. Nothing doing. And we go the other way. Tim Bowles drawing the contact and heading to the free throw line. And he knocked down one out of two to make this a nine point ball game. Starting the second quarter, the Blue Streaks are going to get a 
little bit of lift off their bench from Willie Wilson, who knocks down that elbow jumper for a 19-7 Blue Streak lead. Dietrich, for the scoop, answers at the other end. But that's how quickly Sandusky gets down the floor and Wilson with a follow. 21-9. Here's the scoop and score by Dietrich. And just that quickly, streaks are ready to attack. Man, you have got to hustle to get back on defense against these guys. Or else that happens. Willie Wilson, four quick points for his team. And we're going to trade back and forth now as Dietrich starts heating it up for the Pirates. 21-12. Good look at Arrington right in his face playing defense. Off a screen by Bowles. Gets just enough room to fire it up over Kobe Brown. Gold. Dietrich with a three. 21-12 is the Blue Streak lead. Uh, telling you what, sometimes you get these athletic moves that just almost defy description. Tipped in by Azorian Bonner for a 23-12 Blue Streak lead. There's another one. What did we just talk about? Athletic moves that are almost beyond description. This is paving the way for Hermes Parker Concrete Limited of Sandusky. We just had a fabulous tip in by Bonner. And now it's going to be Mikey Young. Showing, yep, he's more than a football player. Had some contact. Flails it up off balance. Look at the reaction from Joey Dietrich. Paving the way is brought to you by Hermes Parker Concrete Limited of Sandusky. Pirates back again to within nine, and that's where it'll stay after the missed free throw by Young. Offensive rebound by Amir Aaron. And Aaron will attack and go to the line. Aaron pretty solid at the line, 69% on the year. Sturzinger muscling his way into the basket to score for the Pirates. Some would argue use that elbow a little bit too much, but the official says no, and Sturzinger makes it a nine-point ball game again. Brennan Kelch. And when that young man hots up, he heats up, he's as good as there is. As far as long-range shooting is concerned, it's a six-point game again. Before Kobe Brown stretches it right back out again. And talking about getting up the floor quickly, and Pirates sometimes don't take a whole lot. That's a nice find from Mikey Young to Tim Bowles. Great assist coming up right here, which we'll look at again for Matthews Ford. Young out front, just looking through traffic. That neat little diagonal pass underneath and bowls with an easy two. Six-point game again at 27-21. There's the story on your Savista Bank scoreboard.
So this following that same pattern once again of Sadusky opening a big lead early and Perkins coming right back on a nice score by Tim Bowles to make it a four-point ball game. There's the outlet from Kelch. Bowles thinking he's got it from this side. Nope. Let's try the other side. Nice touch. Four-point ball game, 27-23. Pirates trying to make it a little bit closer here. Screwed up a little bit too strong, thinking he should have gone to the free throw line. And there's Arrington once again, making it a six-point ball game off that right baseline. This is your team play of the game for Tarina and the team at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Professional Realty. Here's Amir Aaron up the right side with that crossover dribble, and he finds Arrington on the baseline for the assist. And Arrington didn't let him down. 29-23 Blue Streaks. At your team play of the game, live, laugh, love, and list with Tarina Sedoti, realtor at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Well, <laughs> on the floor, bowls with some of the ball, some of somebody's leg. Pirates ended up getting a timeout before the ball popped loose once again. While we give you some signs of good business, please support these local area establishments. Brady Signs, the Baybell Restaurant, Crush Wine Bar, J Bistro, Cameo Pizza. S&H Blinds and Floors, Pizza House West, Groff Family Services, Remax Quality Realty, Linda Armstrong and the A-Team, Fosco Cement. There's your Savista Bank scoreboard with Sandusky leading it by six. Just over three minutes left in the first half. There's Tim Bowles. Now, Levi Groot, rather, knocking down the basket in the paint for a 29-25 blue streak lead. Telling you the way Henlon can just slither through traffic defies description sometimes. And it's that explosive move to the basket. It results in another six point advantage for the streaks. Kelch miss rebounded by Amir Aaron. Couldn't get the finish, and now watch Dietrich. From one end to the other. Four point game again at 31 27. Dietrich on the assist for Sturzinger. Great find with Sturzinger 
flying to the basket. Dietrich with the find, the assist, and an easy two for the Pirates. And all of a sudden, the Pirates, who were down by 12 at one point near the end of the first quarter, find themselves down by two. This is what I love. Players who don't care about floor burns, don't care about bumps, bruises, just get on the floor and get the ball. Great hustle from both sides. The Arrington and Dietrich. Ball's pretty important. They're giving themselves up to get down and get possession. Leave the pain for later. What the heck? Pirates with a possession here where they could possibly tie or take the lead. Of course, the Blue Streak defense was something to say about that. Special thanks going out to the following businesses who help support our game of the week. Well, so far, what you call a typical Sandusky Perkins game. Two points separate the two, just a minute left before halftime. Tim Bowles, great defense for the tie up. The alternating possession keeps it with Sandusky. Penland, that crossover. Won't fall, and Dietrich on the rebound. This is defense to offense. This is your pancake play of the game, brought to you by Sandusky Bay Pancake House since 1966. A quick little knock away by Henlon, and here's a young man who knows how to finish. Like a half slam, half layup. That's your pancake play of the game. Brought to you by Sandusky Bay Pancake House. Offering you the best pancakes anywhere. Brady Legando to the free throw line. First half winding down to a close. Henlin trying to add a couple of more, as is Bonner. Not able to do it there. Pirates get their chance to make it a two-point game again. That basket wouldn't count after or after the travel call. The streaks with one last opportunity. Just off the mark, and we go to halftime with Sandusky leading by four at the plank over the Perkins Pirates. Somewhere in Perkins Township is the Little Free Library. Third quarter is up next, being brought to you by the Bay Bell Restaurant and Bayview Center Bait Shop, both located in Bayview. All right, there's your story on the Savista Bank scoreboard. Sandusky holding a four-point lead at the break. After 
Perkins outscored Sandusky 23-17 in the second quarter. So what will the second half have in store? Perkins at 8-6 and six on the year. Sandusky at 13-1. and one. Sandusky's only loss to Division I Toledo Whitmer. Perkins after a slow start, really in heating it up as of late. Even in the Lake Division at 3-3, three and three, while Sandusky is at 6-0. and oh, This game, if Sandusky would win it, would clinch at least a share of their third straight conference championship in the Lake Division. Of course, Perkins playing well enough where you know that the conference championship may not be won by Perkins, but may go through Perkins. And the Pirates may have a lot to say about the eventual outcome as to the final standings in this league. Joey Dietrich assuming his position under the basket and drawing the charge. Well, if you like to be a referee, should there be any foul here? Which way should it be called? Or nothing. That was a no call, which... Sends the ball back to the blue streak end of the floor. So a cold start for the second half as nobody has scored yet. Bowles drawing the personal right there. And Tim heading to the free throw line for Perkins. Bowles with a pair, and the Pirates again have closed to within two. Yes, Sandusky will do as soon as you get to that point where you're on the cusp of getting yourselves right back even again. Then they take off. There's Henlon draining a three. This is your Buy the Numbers play of the game for James Ruthsots, CPA, Income Tax, and Accounting. Big numbers here are three and five. Here's Henlon with a pull up for three points and a five point lead. 36 31 as Henlon completes our By the Numbers play of the game. And it's brought to you each and every week by James Ruthsot, CPA, Income Tax and Accounting. Sorry on Arrington. Getting it done at the defensive end. That turns into two for Jason Henlon. Seeing the ball being turned back and forth here. Sturzing are ending up with it. The ball rolled right across the rim and wouldn't go down. Up top is Henlon. Rebound kind of volleyballed around underneath the basket until Dietrich comes out of there with it. Seeing some fast and furious action here at both ends of the floor. Bowles with a great interception taken right back by Henlon to Bonner. Great flurry of action here with hustling all over the floor, but there's the steal by Henlon, which feeds Bonner for a pretty easy two. And the Blue Streaks, in a very short time, run off seven straight points to grab a nine-point lead. Pirates need the answer and get it from Tim Bowles. Seven points is the differential again.
Pirate ball on the rebound. And Dietrich setting things up once again. Levi Groot hitting the cutter. Tim Bowles. And we've got a five-point game. And that's just how fast Sandusky can get down the floor and make it happen. Henlon for two more. 42-35. Favor of the Blue Streaks. Here's Bowles. Off a nice feed from Groot. For Matthews Ford. And very quickly, before you know it, Blue Streaks are right up the floor. There's Henlon. Accelerating to the basket for two more for the Blue. Turnover giving it back to the Blue Streaks. Joey trying to explain himself to the official and saying, I don't think that was really a turnover. The more you plead your case, the more distant the official comes. Seven-point lead for the Blue Streaks on our Savista Bank scoreboard. As they go to work once again on offense, you get the jumper from Arrington that goes out of bounds, and the Pirates will get it back. Young stripped clean by Kobe Brown. Henlon down the floor for Aaron, but he couldn't handle it before it went out of bounds. So the ball heads back over again to the Pirates. Pirates coming into this game off of probably their biggest win of the season. And a buzzer beater by Joey Dietrich for a win over Tiffin Columbian. Amir Aaron gets rejected by Sturzinger. And now Legando. For Noah Normington Slay and in the paint, Cash Cook involved in the scramble on the floor, which is won by the Blue Streaks, and they turn it into another fast break. Jason Henlon stretches that lead out to nine again at 44-35. Here comes your North Coast moment. Brought to you this week again by Shores and Islands, Ohio. Well, this is... Great wintertime scenery on the bay, which I always remember the first time my grandmother ever visited us here in Ohio from Connecticut. She came out the first time she ever saw Lake Erie. It was in the wintertime, and that's the kind of scene she's looking at right there. And she said, well, it's ugly, but it's beautiful. And kind of describes the scene. I love Sandusky Bay when you've got the ice on it, and it just makes for great winter scenery. Just bundle up, stay warm, and admire the rest. And of course, it's always fun to look now at the skyline of Cedar Point, which has changed with the twin towers of Top Thrill 2. That's your North Coast Moment, brought to you by Shores and Islands, Ohio. Signs of good business up next. Please support these local area businesses. Capizzi's Pizzeria. Noble Axes. Wendy's. The Marketplace, downtown. Diedrich Motors. Murray and Murray. Heart Tongue Title. Wake Up and Waffle. Perkins basketball approaching two minutes left to go. 
in this third quarter. Jason Henlon, watch him again. There he goes, making his magic happen. Ends up on the floor, but the ball ends up through the net for an artistic two from the Blue Streak Junior point guard. Absorbing all that contact, Brady Legando doing a pretty nice job of trying to absorb the charge. Not there, though, and Henlon scores two. Blue Streaks lead it by 11. Weston Sturzinger drawing the personal foul. You know, (laughs) with these Perkins athletes, we were talking about this a little bit on the radio, it's almost hard to comprehend how many Division I offers stroll through this gymnasium. Talking football mainly as Mikey Young makes it an eight-point ball game again. Henlon prefers double digits. Again, some of this stuff was just like, how do you do this? How do you practice this? And it's just playing a lot, a lot of basketball. 48-38. The Blue Streak lead is at 10. Kind of fun to look around look right between the bleachers and the wall down there. Fans that have packed this gymnasium everywhere. Supporting these local high school athletes that have earned it. Both these teams just such hard working young men. As Amir Aaron knocks down a couple of free throws to build the Blue Streak lead to a dozen as we get toward the end of the third quarter. Joey Dietrich trying to get a couple of points on the board before the end of the quarter and sitting on the floor just in frustration right there as we take another look for Matthews Ford trying to draw the contact which he does and tries to parlay that into a foul call which he does not and the Blue Streaks end up outscoring Perkins 17-9 to in that third quarter to take a lead of 12 in a quarter number four here at the plank. Our fourth quarter activity brought to you by James Roussat's CPA, Income Tax and Accounting. Also sponsored by Toft Funeral Home and Crematory. Streak start with possession of the basketball. And imperative for the Pirates to make a move here and not let Sandusky get too far out of distance here as far as the deficit is concerned. And Amir Aaron with other ideas as he finds a perfect spot off the backboard to knock that one home and get the lead up to 14. Look at Aaron. That's what I talk about, relentless. And this is what it forces you into. And then Azarian Arrington makes it a 16-point lead. Not the way the Pirates wanted to start this fourth quarter. Sandusky, on the other hand, when we talk about Perkins getting off to slow starts, making great comebacks, Sandusky many times this year has been known to build up a big lead. And then all of a sudden, next thing you look, it's a ball game again. So the question here, would the Blue Streaks let the Pirates back into this one here in the fourth? 
One out of two from Young at the free throw line makes it a 15 point game. Anthony Redding. The lead is 17. And Joey Dietrich, when he knows the Pirates have a problem, knows how to answer. 56-41 streaks. Pirates know at this point they've got to make some kind of move here in the next couple of minutes before that clock really starts becoming a factor. And it all starts with defensive stops. And there's one of them. That little hesitation move by Dietrich to the rim. Picking up a personal foul along the way for a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Fake right, and then look at this little hesitation right there that gives him just enough space to get into the basket and score. Separation now is at 13 points. <laughs> Speaking of relentless, Dietrich just not giving up on trying to get that ball back. We'd like to take a moment to thank the following businesses for their support of the North Coast Game of the Week. Good time, Lake Erie Cruises. Wake up and waffle. Schmid Architects. Shorehouse Tavern. The Crimus Company. Pizza House West. Zorian Bonner at the free throw line, knocking down a couple for the streaks to build that lead to 58 43. This is Bonner against Bowles. And now Henlon. So Blue Streak started working the clock a little bit here as they can afford to do with a 15 point lead. Then you look for the great shots like that. Nice ball movement results in an easy two for Zarian Arrington. And Joey Dietrich answers it right back. Here's the assist from Kobe Brown. And then it doesn't take long at the other end for Dietrich to just attack and score. And you, you watch his face, and it just looks like it's so easy. When we know it's not. It's a 60 to 45 lead as far as the Pirates are concerned. They've got a big deficit to climb here. Here are some signs of good business. Gunlock Sheet Metal Works Incorporated. Schmid Architects. Mags Automotive and Machine. Polar Furnace and Sheet Metal. Crush Wine Bar. David F. Cook, Funeral and Cremation Services. Pizza Brothers. Dockside Cafe. O.E. Meyer Company, Propane Division. Toft Funeral Home and Crematory. Story on your Savista Bank scoreboard 
Shows you why Perkins is picking up the intensity on defense right now because they need to force some turnovers and cash them in. Thanks to the following local businesses for supporting the game of the week. Daly's Pub. UBS Financial Services. Fidelity National Title. Leslie Murray Law. The Landmark Kitchen and Bar. Luco. O.E. Meyer Company Propane Division. Pizza Brothers. Fosco Cement. Groff Family Services. Murray and Murray. Mags Automotive. Toft Funeral Home and Crematory. Linda Armstrong Remax. The Bulls did a nice job of tipping that ball down the floor, but the Blue Streaks foiled those plans. Dietrich with the steal, the run out, and the score. 13 point game. That ball gets knocked loose on the floor. More diving for it. And Kobe Brown taking advantage. 15-point game again at 62-47. to 47. Sam Schweinfurth gets him back to within 13 again. The scramble underneath the basket. Dietrich staying in bounds long enough to save it to Sam. And now we've got a 15 point ball game again at 64. Sorry, 13 point ball game at 62 to 49. <laughs> Tiptoeing the end line was Henlin. Pirates almost at a point right here where they just have to hit everything. And every time the streaks go to the line to increase their lead, that's one more dagger. 64-49, streaks with a 15-point lead, and the clock really a factor at this point with just over two minutes left to play. Sturzinger with the rebound. And now the other way. Streaks had built their lead to as many as 18 as we look at Cam Fosco scoring for the Pirates. That 18-point lead was 67 to 49. And now Fosco with opportunity at a three-point play for the Pirates. Streaks with this one, wrapping up at least a share of the SBC Lake Division Championship. And that's the reason for the emotions being displayed right there on the floor as the streaks ruin everybody's plans for an instant classic, but handle it the way they saw fit in this one not letting Perkins back into the ball game after building that big lead so 71-54 the final the Blue Streaks a winner over the Pirates and increasing their Lake Division record to 7 and 0 oh. thanks for joining us again for the Streaks and Pirates we'll see you next time on our North Coast Game of the Week <laughs>